What's up everybody? So a couple of days ago you saw me unboxing the OnePlus 6T McLaren Edition and one of the coolest things about that uh, phone was the warp charger. So the warp charger is a newer, faster charger than dash charging, uh, which is actually a really fast charger on its own. It's probably faster than most quick charge uh, alternatives out there. Not the fastest thanks to super Voc charging from Oppo, but definitely super, super quick. This is like probably takes a little bit over an hour to get a full charge. Uh, and this claims to be even faster. So it's pretty impressive. And I'm going to be trying to find out how much faster uh, each is compared to it. So I have two OnePlus 6Ts thanks to OnePlus. Uh, I mean, they didn't send me the OnePluses. I had to buy one because they launched a special edition super late and I just couldn't pass it up. Never mind. So the OnePlus 6T uh, McLaren edition has this warp charger. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to drain the batteries to dead zero. So nothing, they shouldn't, they won't even power on. Uh, plug them in, check every couple minutes, see where we land. And I'm going to try to note down all these percentages and make a graph for you at the end and try to explain what's going on. And uh, is the warp charger really faster? And is it worth the upgrade to a, say, McLaren edition uh, if you really need it right now? So let's get right into it. All right, guys, so let's start charging both of these phones. So I have the 6T McLaren edition right on the right and this one right over here. And I, the best way for you guys to be able to tell which one is which is, let me zoom out just a little bit. All right, you're gonna be able to see the colored chargers right here. So the orange one is the warp charging, which I'm gonna plug into the 6T McLaren. And the red one over here is the dash charger. So uh, I'm gonna set it off. We're gonna look uh, every 10 minutes or so, figure out where they are. And the phones are completely dead. So let me just show you really quickly. Right there. And right there, there you go. All right, so without wasting any time, let's get to it. And once both are plugged in, I will start the stopwatch. Ready, set, go. Okay, feedback on that, start. Okay, both of them. I'm gonna leave them turned off and we will come back to it in about 10 minutes. All right, guys, so we just crossed over into the 10 minute mark. So let's see where the dash charger's at. It's at 18%. Let's see where the warp charger's at. 25%, already pretty big delta right there just in 10 minutes. All right, guys, we just run out into 30 minutes. So let's see where the phones are at. So dash charger's at 54% now, and uh, the warp charger at 66. All right, so just crossed over into the 50 minute mark. Let's check where the phones are at. Uh, dash charger is at 84%, warp charger is at 94%, so 10% gap right here. Uh, I think another 5 or 10 minutes and uh, the warp charger should be done. Uh, this shouldn't be too far behind either, so let me check in another 5 minutes. Alright guys, so just as we cross into the 1 hour, 1 minute mark, the da the warp charger has hit 100%, so that that's it, an hour uh, and less than a minute, it was like an hour and 50 seconds, already at 100 from a dead zero, so it wouldn't even boot on to 100%. The uh, dash charge is at 94. Uh, so as you see, uh, it's pretty clear where, where we're kind of bridging the gap. So uh, I'll check when this is back at 100 and let you guys know. All right, guys. So just as we cross over to the one hour, 14 minute mark, the OnePlus 6T made it to 100% on dash charging. So not the world's biggest difference, about 13 minutes uh, in comparison to get to 100. Uh, not, the, not a big difference, but comparing that it only took this an hour. That's like a really very interesting result. So let's move on. All right guys, so looking at the results here, what we can see is that uh, starting off, both of them started at the 10 minute mark. It was uh, a pretty big delta there, about uh, 9%. And that delta almost carried over until I'd say the 40, 45 minute mark. After that, the bridge started to close up. Uh, and you guys can see that both of them have a pretty similar curve. Uh, it's just that the warp charge is a little bit faster. Now, uh, when it came down to the last couple of percent, uh, the warp charger definitely slowed down. It wasn't going as quickly as the uh, dash charger. So the overall result here was that uh, we had a 13% faster, I'm sorry, a 13 minute difference in charging. So between zero to 100, same phone, same battery, just different charger. So this is definitely faster, but it's not incrementally, it's, it's an incremental update. It's not uh, life changing. It's not like dash charging versus normal charging. 
which is a couple of hours versus just about an hour or so. So this is right there. This is a one hour and less than an hour and a minute versus one hour and 15 minutes. A good gap. But I think the most impressive thing here is that the zero to 30 minute time is, the, you know, definitely the charge you get out of the first couple of minutes. So if you're somebody who's not good with plugging their phone in uh, and you randomly plug it in here and there to kind of juice up quickly the warp charger is definitely going to help you out here but if you're a regular charger who charges it overnight uh the warp charger is not you're not going to notice any kind of difference here so that's that's really the only difference we see here all right so that was a super interesting result uh you know you guys saw in the graph and everything how it worked out pretty impressive that uh the dash charger still only takes a little bit over an hour and 10 minutes to charge up to 100 percent but uh, since that is such a small gap, even beating it out by 10 minutes is a pretty big number. So very impressive by McLaren. I'm sorry, not McLaren, OnePlus, obviously. Sorry, I get that confused. Uh, There's McLaren written right here. Sometimes I just kind of mess everything up. Uh, so very impressive. You're definitely going to be seeing this on the OnePlus 7, I'm sure, from next year onwards. Uh, it's going to be impressive to see how much they increase the price jump now that they have this to justify it. But that's a story for another day. Let me know what you guys think about warp charging. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Happy holidays. I'll catch you in the next one.